Be careful. Okay, just to give you a perspective, that rocky outcrop up there is where Rap's seed is. And that's where we're headed, up to that rocky outcrop, up this steep hill. Okay, today we're headed up to Rap's seat. This ties into the old graveyard video that we did with the rotating stone door. This is part of the Harmonist Society. Uh, this is George, Ra George Rapp's secret seat, which uh, we think it was just a good place to get away and think, kind of get away from the people in the town and probably nagging them all day. But uh, we'll talk about the seat a little bit when we get up there. Steep stairs going up here. Now these stairs used to be stone. There used to be a bunch of stone steps heading up through here. Uh, I don't know what happened to the stone steps, but uh, actually there was, uh, I got out of the light here, there was uh, an Eagle Scout in 1999 that uh, installed these wooden steps and railing to help people get up to the seat. So we're gonna head on up there. It's a pretty good climb. Okay, we'll see you at the top. Okay, we're coming up on the outcrop of Rapp's seat. And it's right around, down around that rocky outcrop is where the seat is. So this is definitely kind of a dangerous one to get to. So you just gotta be careful, especially with all these wet leaves and junk. Be careful. We actually made our way to the stone seat. If you look down over here, um, this is really steep and pretty dangerous uh, if you fall off of this thing because the road's down there and uh, you can see how far down it is from the seat area. Pretty cool though. Okay, here is the solid seat, or the, I should say the solid stone seat carved into the rock here. And uh, Tracy's just uh, sitting there admiring the seat. But we think that uh, this is where he came to kind of just think and probably pray and uh, kind of get away from the nagging townspeople that he, you know, kind of kind of was kind of his flock, I guess you might say. But this is the uh, secret seat he had. Well, she carved it into the rock and I think he just come up here and chill out you know just come up here to to uh, have some peace maybe but a beautiful view up here he would have been able to see the town over there um, really nice view 
and actually we'll even get you a better view when we go up to the top there's some rocks up top of the seat too which provide a really good vantage point here's some uh, views of the seat here all by itself you can see how it was carved it's pretty neat and it's actually pretty comfortable too it's just uh, kind of a dangerous path to get to the thing but there's some little crevices and stuff and holes up in there but there's a nice outcrop too so even if it was lightly raining or this or that you could set in this thing and not even get wet Yeah, just some little outcrops and some little crevices and stuff in here. Okay, uh, just to give you a little background on this seat. Um, the Harmonist Society in this area was started in 1804 by George Rapp. And uh, they came to this area. They were originally from Germany but he had adopted some Karl Marx communist uh, stuff and he was getting a following over there and he uh, they didn't agree with what he was doing over there uh, religiously he was you know kind of getting away from the standard practice of the way things worked over there so they kind of viewed him as a threat they were starting to you know kind of give him trouble in his life and so he got about 90 families I guess and they moved over here to the Pennsylvania wilderness it was wilderness at the time and they purchased 3,000 acres off of uh, uh, a guy up here in nearby Zionopol and uh, um, and anyway they started with 3,000 acres here and they actually grew this up to be a nice little town they had a lot of buildings they had tannery and a brewery and all kinds of little things and so this was kind of their area it must have grew though to about 9,000 acres because the harmonists didn't stay here long they actually uh, moved out about 1814 and they advertised 9,000 acres and basically all the buildings and stuff of the town and the Mennonites come in and purchased it so the Mennonites were the next religious community to come in here and kind of take over this town but the harmonists the harmonist society which George Rapp founded they went to the state of Indiana they didn't stay there too long though and I believe it was around 1824 they come back to Pennsylvania about 22 miles from here there is a uh, it's a tourist attraction too but it's it's called old economy and that's where they come back to only about 22 miles from here um, and uh, actually the harmonist society though was disbanded in 1905 I believe it was so um, they had they had adopted celibacy and all kinds of stuff so their their community just wasn't growing but uh this was the first place that they that they kind of they had was harmony here and the only thing when the when they originally sold the property to the mennonites the only thing they retained was the cemetery which is the one with the large rotating stone door with no grave markers that we did a video on we'll, we'll put a link at the end of the video to that but this is kind of a continuation some of the some of our people wanted us wanted us to uh, elaborate on this small town but it is a historic town with a historic district and uh, it's a very interesting little town but um, what we're going to do is we're going to get up on top and show you a couple of the views from up on top of the seat here and uh, there used to be I guess an old pavilion little dance hall thing up top we're gonna to go see if we can find that where that was and uh, so we'll meet you up there okay this would be the view from on top of the seat the stone seat is down below 
these outcrops of rock. You don't want to take that step. <laughs> but the sown seed is directly under that rocky outcrop there, the last one you see. But it's a heck of a view up here. He would have had a wonderful view of the town. Okay, so now we're walking up on top and don't see a whole lot that direction. I'm thinking it was probably right here. This is like I see a teepee though. <laughs> Little uh <laughs> thrown together a teepee. And of course, somebody's garbage. <laughs> but this here spot here is kind of hollowed out. This is probably where it was, if it was anywhere, it would be right here. It's probably where the pavilion was. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's probably in this area, because there's, I mean, it's still hollowed out. There's no tree growth right here, so. Makes sense. And that's like uh, the back side of this hill on the other side of the town. So okay, we're gonna make our way out down this uh, treacherous rocks and steps and uh, we're gonna make our way down here. Okay, we're going to head down these steps and get out of here, but uh, we hope you liked this video and helped you connect this things of this little town together a little bit, and we'll see you on the next one.